everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is Karina from Paradium Thrift. If you guys have been following along with my Vlogmas videos, first of all, I want to say thank you so much. It means the world to me. It is a lot of work. I've mentioned that before, but you know, I kind of started running out of ideas and I honestly realized that my vlog game isn't the best, so it's definitely something that I want to work on, but um, I wanted to kind of give myself a little bit more structure for the rest of Vlogmas. So instead of a vlogmas, I'm going to be doing 12 days of thriftmas. So what that means is every day from now until Christmas, I'm going to be putting out a thrift related video. I mean, majority of the videos I've been putting out have been kind of like thrifty related, whether it's like a thrift with me or a haul or something. It's gonna be along the same lines, but for me, it kind of helps me narrow in on what kind of content that I can make. So hopefully you guys enjoy these videos. We're gonna start off today's video with a little adventure that I went on a few days ago. I met up with one of my PFFs. You guys probably already saw in the thumbnail and in the title, but I met up with Ashley Wheeler and we were able to do a little bit of sourcing and just honestly got to meet for the first time. So it was so much fun. I'm gonna show you guys some footage of us sourcing together. I didn't get too much. We honestly didn't even take a picture together, which I highly regret, but that just means we have to go hang out with each other again. Um, and then at the end of this video, you will see me in this form again so that I can show you guys a haul of everything that I picked up. So if you guys are not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button down below and turning on those bell notifications so you are notified every time I put a video out. I think I've mentioned this before, but I'm trying to hit 3,000 subscribers by the end of this year. Ashley is also on the way to 3,000, so if you guys want to help support me and Ashley, just go ahead and hit those subscribe buttons, and let's just get into the footage. Welcome back to my channel. I am currently visiting one of my PFFs in the Tri-Cities area and she took me to the Goodwill outlet. Let me see if I can get the sign up here. But this is what it looks like. Very interesting. She says it's going to be a different kind of bins experience. So let's go meet her inside and see what it's like in here. Okay, so I'm here with Ashley. Hey guys! She took me here to Tri-Cities at the bins and we're going to see what we can find in here. This is not like anything I've ever experienced. I experience. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> it's definitely different. So, let's go see what we can find.
here now and I'm gonna show you guys everything that I picked up in that haul I had so much fun with Ashley and I'm actually gonna be putting out another video tomorrow with her um, so definitely stay tuned for that so that bins experience was definitely interesting. I wish we stayed longer. When the bins were switching out, we actually left um, before they could fully get restocked because it was taking kind of a long time. Um, I'm hoping next time we go, maybe we'll spend like a whole day there or something or even maybe drive into Portland and hit the bins up together. Um, but I only picked up four things from the bins and after coming home and inspecting everything which i failed to do while we were there um i found out that the only clothing item i ended up picking up has a flaw on it i think it's fixable um so we'll see but it's from the brand monroe and this i don't sell this brand too much um they do a lot of basics which are nice it does have a very high retail rate but some of the pieces don't resell for as much i thought this was a really really cute tie-dye long sleeve top with this like plunging neckline um i've mentioned before that tie-dye like does really well for me so i thought this was really nice i also think this is silk i could be wrong yeah, so this is 100% silk, and I could just tell when I picked it up that it was really high quality. Um, but it does have a hole on the seam. I mean, when I do fix this, um, I will definitely note that it has been mended in the listing. But I still think this is a really cute piece. That, that shouldn't be super noticeable on the side. Um, but yeah, this is a size small. And other than that, I didn't see any other flaws on it. And then I picked up three pairs of shoes. Usually when I go to the bins, I like finding shoes there. It's just less work, I think. Um, I, I don't mind digging through the heaps of clothes. I just prefer buying shoes because I like selling shoes. Um, and they're easier to spot instead of like having to dig and like pull things out. Anyway, the first pair of shoes that I found were these sandals and i know it's not sandal season but i picked them up because this brand has been doing really well for me lately so i wanted to try these out um they are these like metallic leather sandals by the brand eileen fisher so there's the tag eileen fisher i mean they're pretty dirty so i will have to do a little bit of cleaning on these they're a size 10 but I haven't sold any sandals like these before, so we'll see how these do. I know I've seen these on Poshmark before in the past, though, so if you guys have sold these, let me know how much you sold them for. Um, but yeah, definitely got to clean them up a little bit. Um, or I can sell them as is and just, like, mark them lower. The next pair of shoes that I picked up were these sneakers. And these are by the brand Vionic. So there's the tag... Or there's the the logo on the bottom right there. These are a smaller size. I think they're like a... Oh, they're a size women's 7. Um, again, these are a little bit dirty, so I will have to do some cleaning on these. I don't think I've ever sold any Vionic shoes before, but I've seen other people say that they are a brand to look out for. So I'm kind of excited to see how these do. Um, I'll definitely have to do some research on these. haven't looked up comps on any of these things. Actually, I looked up comps on the next pair, but this is, um, yeah, this is the other pair that I got. They're very, very lightweight, so I must not have paid very much for these. They're maybe like a pound, maybe like a little bit over a pound, so that's always nice. This is the last thing that I picked up at the bins, and I honestly just picked them up because of style, but then I looked up comps and kind of got a little bit more excited about them. Um, so they are these funky looking suede, like, I don't even know how to explain these, Y2K Oxfords. They have like a square toe. Honestly, the, the toe area kind of gives me like clown shoe vibes, which I thought was kind of funny. Um, but this is a brand that I've never heard of before. They're honestly in really good condition. So here's the inner label. It says PCs made in Italy. And I had asked Ashley if she had known anything about this brand and she said no, but since it said it made in Italy, it might be something good. And then I realized that it said this on the back of the shoe. So it says PCs and it says Patrick Cox. So when I googled that brand, it pulled up a bunch of vintage shoes by this brand selling for around like 80 to a hundred dollars um which was really exciting to see i didn't find these exact shoes but i feel like these are a really cool style i might put these up on depop and ebay probably poshmark as well um, but just to see how those do i'm kind of excited i don't sell things like that 
normally. So yeah, we'll see um, if anybody has sold if anybody has sold this brand before, give me some insight. Let me know down below. So next we moved on to Play-Doh's Closet. We also ended up going to a Goodwill after, but I didn't include any footage of that because we didn't end up finding anything. Um, so I'm just going to show you what we found at Play-Doh's Closet. I didn't find too much and two of the pieces I actually picked up for myself. So let me go ahead and just show you what I found. All right, so the first dress that I found is going to be a little difficult to show because it's a wrap dress. Okay, so it is this blue halter style maxi dress and it's a wrap style, so it has a really high slit on it. Um, I'll try to add a stock photo here just so that you guys can see what it looks like. This is a size small and they were only asking $12 for it, um, which is, I think is a good price. Usually maxi dresses at my local Goodwill from the brand Lulu's are priced around $19.99, anywhere between like $15.99 to $19.99, so $12 is good. I love picking up Lulu's maxi dresses. They sell the best for me out of any of the pieces that they have. I haven't looked up comps on this or I haven't found the actual style name of this piece yet so I have to look that up but usually these maxi dresses can fetch me anywhere between like $35 to sometimes even $55 um, but that kind of range right there is what I'm expecting for that piece. The other dress that I picked up is another maxi dress and this also has some interesting straps on it. I believe this is an older piece from this brand, but it is a Mac, or this is actually a midi dress with these cross straps in the back. And the brand is Wilfred from Aritzia. So here's the tag right here. Wilfred, this is a size extra, extra small, which I know a lot of people try to avoid small sizes, but this could fit about like a zero to a two and that's kind of my size so i picked this up i mean honestly i think it'll still do fine they wanted twelve dollars for this as well which is amazing i feel like wilfred is usually priced up quite a bit i still think this dress is going to do well again i have to look up the style name and everything for that but for twelve dollars i didn't mind paying for that the next item i was kind of struggling with. I didn't know if I was going to pick it up or not. I ended up putting it back and then when I was at the register, I changed my mind. The thing is, when we were shopping in the Tri-Cities area, both of our phones had zero service. We think that a cell tower must have been like being worked on or something must have happened because neither of us had service. Um, so we couldn't check comps or anything. There were a bunch of pieces that I left there because I just didn't want to take the risk without looking up comps. And then after the fact, I looked them up and I wish I grabbed them, but I didn't. It's okay. Um, but the first thing that I got, and again, I wasn't sure if this was a good buy or not. This brand is kind of not the best, but some pieces do really well. And this was in the women's section, but after looking up more info on it, I realized that it is a men's piece. It's this beautiful quilted puffer jacket. And this is a size large, so it's massive, but it has like this brown interior and the print on it is kind of like a bandana print. But yeah, I thought this was, when I saw it, when I saw this on the rack, I originally thought it was going to be like free people or anthropology. And then I looked at the tag and it is actually BDG by Urban Outfitters. Um, yeah, you can see the tag there. They wanted $20 for this, which is why I was a little bit skeptical because that is kind of paying up, especially for Urban Outfitters. It's just... Not how much I typically want to spend on an Urban Outfitters piece, um, but after looking up comps and seeing that this sold on websites like Grailed um, for around $60, but I should be able to make a profit on this pretty quick since it is very trendy and in style at the moment. I asked Charlie if he wanted to keep it. He tried it on and it fit him, but just not 100% his style, but it's a very, very, very cool piece. I think a woman could also wear this. I think it's pretty unisex, but definitely a cool piece for Urban Outfitters. And I'm excited to see how that does. The next item that I found is a pair of shoes. I swear I've seen these on Poshmark and I wanted them for myself. So when I saw these on the rack, I got kind of excited. But they are these little combat boots with like the Sherpa tongue and a snake print, um, whatever this thing is called. The brand is actually Circus by Sam Edelman, um, which is kind of like the Diffusion line, the lesser 
less expensive line but i love these boots i think these are perfect for the current season and i think that these will do really well they wanted 14 dollars for these which honestly is probably cheaper than what my normal goodwill would have paid would have charged for them so i had no problem paying that so these are also a bigger size. They're a size 11. These are called the Flora Boot in case you guys wanted to look them up for yourself. I don't pick up all Sam Edelman. I don't pick up all Circus by Sam Edelman. But it's kind of like Vince Camuto where there are just some pieces that are highly desirable and a lot of influencers do talk about these brands because they are less expensive than some of the uh, more designer brands and they're more affordable for the average person so i feel like some of these are um, good options still to pick up it just depends on the style of course but yeah these were an excellent condition maybe worn like a couple times like there's you can tell on the bottom that they've been worn but on like the top part they look pretty much brand new so i was very excited about these and then the last two things i found i'm keeping for myself this one i found just as we were walking out because i just realized that all my sweaters are like crew necks like this and i wanted something a little bit cuter so the brand is just h m um, but it is this chunky knit kind of cropped oversized sweater but i love it because it's just a plain color it's exactly like this you know like i can wear the same things with this sweater that i would with this if that makes sense like i'm just wearing jeans right now and i can throw this on instead and it would look a lot cuter i think than just a regular crew neck shirt but they wanted 12 dollars for this which i think is a little pricey i feel like if i bought this at goodwill it would be like 10 dollars. but i really like this style and i didn't mind picking it up there is a tiny little pull on the back which isn't that big of a deal um i think i can like push it in or something so that it's not noticeable but yeah very very cute i always gravitate towards h&m at thrift stores because it's very trendy and not that expensive but i don't promote fast fashion so i don't know if it's really something that i should have in my closet but at the same time i am saving it from the landfill so i don't know i have mixed feelings about it but very happy with this style the other piece that i picked up for myself i think is also h&m Yes, this is H&M, but this one is new with tags. And I swear I have been wanting a jacket like this for so long. I've actually, I was actually wearing something kind of similar in the video, the green cardigan. Um, but this one's black. So it's a maxi cardigan. I'm not sure how well it'll show but it's seriously this will go all the way like past my knee because i'm really short which is what i've been wanting um this was kind of cool though the tag says that it's 52 percent recycled polyester um which is pretty cool i don't know if that's actually accurate or if that's like greenwashing i've heard that h&m kind of does greenwashing with some of their things meaning that they say that their things are eco-friendly and they aren't actually just to kind of um, attract more customers but anyway i picked this up they wanted 12 dollars for this as well um so i picked it up and i think i'm gonna get a lot of wear out of it and if i ever decide that i don't want it anymore i can just resell it and that is everything that I picked up while I was hanging out with Ashley. So let me know what you guys think about my finds. I am like in love with the area that she brought me to. Tri-Cities is actually in Washington. So I drove east and then she drove us north. And I've never been over there before. It was my first time. So she was kind of showing me. It's kind of like a mini Portland. Like they have Target, Costco, uh, Panera. Like all the things that I want are there. Um, so I was telling her that maybe like instead of us driving into Portland, we would just drive that way and then I could see her. It was so nice to hang out with another reseller friend. Especially another reseller friend who also does YouTube. Um, we just get each other on different levels. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm more excited about these next next 12 days of thrift miss i feel like i finally have like a focus on what to do for vlogmas so i hope you guys enjoy the direction that we're taking this i mean it's honestly not that much different but we're gonna do it it's gonna be a lot better and i'm really excited so thank you guys again for watching this video and i will see you guys next time bye